What's up people and welcome to this video guys. So in this video guys we have yet another hero which will hopefully be coming to Mobile Legends. And the reason why I'm saying hoping is because this is, well it's not a hero from Mobile Legends that themselves have made. This is actually fan art which just looks very very similar to a Mobile Legends hero. And the reason is why is because Resty is back at it again. So he created another hero as you can see on the screen right here. He's called Aglet. Uh, honestly, bro, it's really hard to pronounce the heroes that you're creating. But Aglet, Prince Author, I, I think it is, okay? So here you can see him sitting right there holding a glass of wine, I would guess, looking very royal. I mean, you can, he even has statues in the background. That looks freaking amazing, okay? So here we have his storyline. I'm not gonna go and read that, but I'm gonna show you every single story image. If you wanna go and read it yourself, just go ahead and pause at any of these images and you will can go and read it. But what I can say is that he has a rich family, okay? But uh, you can see his movement speed, magic power, and all of that. But we're just gonna skip ahead to the next image, okay? So here you can see how his, well, his animation is gonna look and how he will look in game. You can see him standing like that with one of his arms behind his back. You know why? Because he's so goddamn royal. <laughs> I really like it. Looks really, really dope. Uh, a really cool thing, you can see this floating thing, and then it turns into a glass of wine. Well, of course it does. <laughs> You can also gonna see that he is uh, an assassin slash fighter, okay? His specialty is charge and burst, and here you can also gonna see his third ability, offense ability effects, as well as difficulty, okay? You can also gonna see how his image kind of look in the loading screen as well, as all of his icons right there, all of his skills, and you can even gonna see the passive right there looking really, really fun. And you know why the passive icon looks just like gold? Well, it is because it is gold, okay? Okay, read this. Luther Berg's family, which I guess is his family, I'm not completely sure, I'm not sure why it says Luther Berg's, either way, owns a lot of empires and markets, and because of this, Aglet receives 10% discount to all items and 4% for his allies. He also receives gold 1.2 times the usual, so this is just really, really fun. So, every single item in the shop actually costs. 10% less for him, which I think is a very, very, like, you know, creative idea for passive. It also gives, you know, your teammates 4% uh, discount of all of their product as well, which is also, just, it's just so creative. I absolutely love this. He also receives 1.2 times the usual amount of gold. Does this mean every time, you know, you get like one gold a second or whatever it is, does he get 1.2 gold a second or something like that? Or is it like every time he gets a kill on a minion or something like that, it, it you know, it, 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 he get like 0 0.2 more, uh, you know, okay, I'm not completely sure, I guess it's every time he gets gold, but it's a really creative passive, okay, so here you can see how he would look in game, I mean, it, he looks very cool, I, I like how it looks in game, he looks very, very royal, royal, just because he has his freaking arm behind his back, okay, here you have his first skill, so the skill is gonna be called Dual Deception, okay? A Aglet dashes forward and uses his deception abilities to create duplicates of himself to a specific direction. When Aglet uses four diversions and royal defense, his duplicate will also do it in his location. This duplicate can't move and can't be targeted and lasts for 6 seconds. After casting this skill, this skill then becomes al alternative deception for a short period of time. And then you can go and use this skill yet again. Aglet swaps location with his duplicate. He can use this skill again during uh, the duration. When an enemy is nearby, his movement speed increases by 20% for 2 seconds. This the skill returns to dual deception after the duration. So what I absolutely love about Rest is that he actually makes the skill effect, so here we're actually gonna see how the skill would work. So when you're holding it, you will see you're basically placing two of these well, um, deceptions of himself, you can see he actually jumps, it's very like Hayabusa's skill as you can see, but instead of being four, it's just two, okay, then he can go and swap places 
with these, which I think is really, really cool. And it, the enemies can't target these deceptions, but uh, you can swap between them and you get movement speed when enemies are close. And I think when you when you have used this first skill and then you use your second skill or your ultimate, this deception will do the same, which I think is pretty cool. Then we have the second skill right here, which is going to be called Four Diversant. Aglus becomes immune from controls and charges to four directions, dealing 200 points of physical damage. Each charge to an enemy hit. Then his next basic attack will deal 180% of his total physical attack. So that is also a very interesting skill. So here you can see he's using his second skill and then bam, you can see four of his uh, clones right here or whatever you want to call them, basically. Shorts into the middle, which I really think is really really cool And I guess if you would have used the first skill before this it would have been eight clones Okay, which I I really really much enjoy and I think when you're doing this um and the clones disappears after using it. This has become immune to anything and dealing damage to anyone inside the four range in his skill. So that's really, really cool. We can see that Layla here is taking some damage from one of the clones. And then the only thing we have left is the ultimate, which is gonna be called Royal Defense or Defiance. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Eaglet enters the state of Defense, whatever. Stop bullying me <laughs> and becomes immune from all types of damage including controls for 2.5 seconds the skill immediately becomes triple royal strike within the defense duration he can't move nor cast any other skills except for the triple royal strike uh, so the triple royal strike is basically the second state of his ultimate which we have right here aglet creates a phantom of himself that charges to a designated location thus leaving a track during during this defensive stand, state duration, he can use this skill three times after the duration or after casting this skill three times. He charges to the track that he created, dealing 250 points plus 10% of the target's lost HP as physical damage for each charge to enemy hit. He then returns to his original position. And I mean, Resty, you are one creative person. So here you can go to see his skill. So this is how it looks when you're clicking. You can see he doesn't have a lot of range. Then you click it more. And then you can see he becomes immune right here. So you basically can't target him. You can't do anything towards him. Okay, you, you can basically not hit him. Okay. And then when you use it, and um, then the ultimate becomes triple royal. And then you can see when he uses his wand, you can see you get this aim thing. And then you can see he jumps, okay? And you can use this three times. So you can see he jumped forward. Now he's about to jump to Layla. And there you can see he jumped through Layla. Now you can see he's about to jump uh, one last time. And bam, that hits the second Layla. And I think uh, when you use it uh, for the last time, you actually go back to your first position. And then it will deal damage to all the enemies, which is hit by this which i think is really really cool and i think this image just looks very very amazing and you gotta keep in mind when he's doing the triple royal he's immune okay so you can't target him or whatever and when he has like you know done this ultimate um the enemies can't target him until he jumps back i think this is such a cool skill just imagine everything you can do this you can go and jump on people from a bush and then just attack multiple at once and then teleport back to your original location i think that is very very fun and i really hope mobile Ennis will be doing at least one of these fan arts which resty have made and hopefully this one because this is really really awesome and you know mobile Ennis, you don't really have to do anything whatsoever resty all he wants is to make a hero you know become actual hero in the game he has made all the skills all the artwork everything for you it's just really simple for you guys to contact him or whatever and if you guys want to do that his facebook page will be down in the description here you can also see what he will be saying in the game which i think uh, is really cool that he also made that but guys that was all for this video hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it if you did remember to leave a like and subscribe but i hope i'll see you next video as always thank you for watching